Welcome to the Masumi Motion Products webinar. In this webinar, we will be covering lead screws. The topics to be covered are definitions, their advantages, Masumi product offerings, and application examples. At its most fundamental level, a lead screw is simply a threaded rod and a nut, but instead of being used for fastening, it is used to translate rotary motion into linear motion. Due to this factor, it is a key difference in the design of a lead screw as opposed to a threaded rod. This difference is the thread form that is used. Lead screws don't use the Unified Thread Standard or ISO metric screw thread, as those forms are V-shaped. The V-shaped design produces more friction between the nuts and the shaft, which is desirable in fastening as it helps prevent the nut from loosening. But as a lead screw is not used for fastening, any extra friction would not be desirable. They utilize a couple of different thread forms. These include, but may not be limited to, square thread, buttress thread, trapezoidal threads. Following is a brief description of each. Square threads are the most efficient thread form as they have the least amount of friction. As a result, the square form is often used in high power applications. The drawback of the square form is that it is the most difficult form to manufacture, thereby making it the most expensive. Buttress threads are effectively square threads with half of the thread cut off, changing the rectangle to a triangle. This form can only be used in applications where the force is applied in only one direction. This thread is used because they are easier to manufacture than square threads, but they have the same efficiency. Trapezoidal threads are easier to manufacture than square threads and can accept loads from both directions, but they're less efficient than square threads. And because they are easier to manufacture and can accept loads from both directions, trapezoidal threads are very popular on lead screws. They can also handle large axial forces compared to the square threads due to the fact that they have comparatively large root. In the industry, there are two very popular forms of trapezoidal threads, Acme and trapezoidal metric. The Acme thread form has a 29 degree thread angle with a thread height that is half of the pitch. This standard has been used quite extensively for a long time in the industry. Thread diameters are defined in nominal inch sizes. Metric trapezoidal threads are very similar to Acme threads, except the angle is 30 degrees instead of 29 degrees and the thread dimensions are in millimeters instead of inches. It goes without saying that, while similar, Acme threads and metric trapezoidal threads are not compatible with each other. It is this thread form that Masumi uses on all their lead screws. Lead screws and ball screws are very similar components. Both convert rotary motion into linear motion in effectively the same way. The difference between the two is that while the lead screw has the nut slide over the screw shaft, the ball screw has the nut roll over the screw shaft on a recirculating ball bearing mechanism. This has its advantages and disadvantages. Relying on rolling friction instead of sliding friction makes ball screws extremely efficient and allow for tighter tolerances including preloading, resulting in accurate movement. It also allows for a predictability of its lifespan in use in high-speed applications but the recirculating ball mechanism adds a great deal complexity to the manufacturing process, making them more expensive. They can also generate more noise in use. This leads to a very important question. Why use a lead screw as opposed to a ball screw? The answer is, it depends upon the application. In general, there are a couple main advantages to a lead screw. The most obvious is cost. In OEM situations where unit cost needs to be minimized, lead screws are very popular. So, while in some situations there may be more work done in the design stage in terms of testing and tweaking, that extra cost is outweighed by the lower cost of the lead screw on a component level. So, on an OEM level, lead screws are used quite extensively as opposed to ball screws as a way of minimizing unit cost. Second, because of the fact that there are no moving components inside of the nut, lead screws are very smooth and quiet in operation. Many ball screws do not have individually caged balls resulting in a noticeable amount of noise during use. On the other hand, in most situations when properly installed, lead screws cannot be heard during use. Another benefit of not having ball bearings inside the nut is that the lead screws can be used in corrosive and dirty environments. Because lead screws don't have hardened ball bearings coming into direct contact with the surface of the thread, it is not required that the shafts be hardened. This allows for the use of other less corrosive materials for both the shaft and the nut. For example, 
The shaft can be made out of a non-hardenable 303 stainless steel instead of the hardenable but much more susceptible to rust 440C stainless. The nuts don't even have to be made out of metal. They can be made out of resins like PPS or polyacetyl. Some combinations of shafts and nut material can even be without grease, which is useful in dirty environments. Also, many lead screws don't backdrive. That means applying an axial force to the nut does not result in rotary motion. This is very useful in vertical applications in that a locking mechanism is not required. Once the nut is moved into position, it will remain there even in the power outage situation. And finally, lead screws are a very simple component. Because there are no moving parts inside of the nut, it is not dependent upon any internal mechanisms working correctly in order to function. Quite simply, simple design means less that can go wrong with it. Masumi sells several different types of lead screws. Straight, one in stepped, one in double stepped, one in stepped, one in double stepped, both ends double stepped, and pre configured for use with our support units. The shafts are available in either 1045 carbon steel with an option getting a black oxide surface treatment or low temperature black chrome plating or 303 stainless steel. All Masumi lead screws have a metric trapezoidal thread. For the vast majority of Masumi lead screws, the pitch of the lead screw is based upon the thread diameter. This table lists our basic specifications for the lead screws that we sell. Notice there are two sizes, 16mm and 20mm, that are available in a fine thread version of 2mm along with the standard pitch version. This is important because most of our nuts are available only in the standard pitch. The only nut available for the fine thread is a flanged brass nut. This table also lists out the allowable dynamic thrust that the nuts can handle. Depending upon the size and the material, the loads range from 255 newtons up to 40 kilonewtons. For reference, here are the accuracy standards that Masumi lead screws adhere to. As for nuts, Masumi carries a couple different styles. We carry flange nuts where mounting holes are parallel with the shaft. The flange can be round, square, or compact shaped. We carry straight nuts and we carry pillow block style nuts where the mounting holes are perpendicular to the shaft. For the flange nuts, we have versions where mounting holes are through holes or slots. And we have a pileated version where the flange is offset from the end. And for applications where backlash is a concern, we carry an anti-backlash nut. This nut consists of two sections that are spring-loaded against each other. This results in the nut threads always resting against one side of the screw threads, eliminating backlash. Lead screw nuts are available in a couple different materials. Brass, brass with a solid lubricant embedded, tribological PPS resin, and polyacetyl. Listed here are some useful technical calculations for lead screws. The two important values to pay attention to are the pressure, P, and the velocity, V. Once these values are calculated, a position in the PV graph can be determined. If the PV position is below the relevant curve, then no abnormal wear should occur in operation. For example, let's take a look at using an MTSRW16 shaft and an MTSFR16 brass nut under the operating conditions of 300 newtons axial load at 300 RPM. Crunching the numbers gives us a value of P equals 0.44 newtons per millimeter squared and a V value equal to 22.8 meters per minute. Locating this point in the graph reveals that no abnormal wear should occur. Other useful calculations include finding the screw efficiency and load torque. Using the same example conditions as before, the screw efficiency is calculated to be 0.24, the load torque to be 29.7 newton centimeters. Masumi offers lead screws in the most popular thread sizes, from 8 millimeters to 50 millimeters. More importantly, dimensions shown in blue are configurable in 1 millimeter increments. This is important, as in many situations, it allows you to order a finished lead screw that can be bolted onto your application without needing any secondary machining operations. If that's not enough for your application, the lead screws are available with optional modifications. We call them alterations. The alterations are available for lead screws, including set screw flat machining, wrench flat machining, adding retaining ring grooves, tapping the ends, threading for bearing nuts, square chamfering, and adding a keyway. These alterations are not required, but are available if needed. Also keep in mind that you can add as many alterations as you need, as long as the alterations don't interfere with each other. 
And finally, Masumi also carries some accessories that can be used with the lead screws. For example, Masumi carries support units. These are the bearings with housings that allow the lead screws to be mounted. Masumi also carries brackets for nuts. These change the mounting surface direction from parallel with the shaft to perpendicular to the shaft. Also available are digital position indicators. These will count the revolutions of the shaft and display the distance traveled by the nut in millimeters. And finally, Masumi carries clamp plates that bolt directly to the support units or the position indicators. These will clamp down on the screw shaft, preventing it from rotating. The following are a couple of examples showing how lead screws are used. In this application, the combination of a hand wheel, lead screw, and position lock are used to allow manual positioning for the fixture. In this case, instead of allowing free positioning of the fixture, the use of a lead screw allows accurate positioning, reducing the amounts of time required to position it. Once in position, it can be locked into place using the hand lock. In this application, a left and right hand thread lead screw is utilized to create a pinching type action. This simplifies the mechanism in that two separate screws are not required, nor are the components needed to synchronize their motion. All that is required to achieve this motion is one lead screw, two nuts, and the support units to support it. Altogether, this results in a cheap, compact design that's robust and reliable. In this application, much like the first application, a lead screw and a hand wheel allow for manual positioning of the mechanism. In this case, the combination of low-cost and smooth, accurate operation make the lead screw a good fit for this application. Now we look at the reference shoulder adjusting mechanism. This is a manually operated unit that moves a contact block back and forth. In an application like this, the rotational speed is very small as the hand wheel is turned by hand. Also, as the contact block is coming into contact with the press fit head, neither the absolute positioning accuracy, nor repeatability, nor backlash is critical. Because of this, a lead screw is a very appropriate component for use in this type application, as the added expense of a ball screw is not justified. Shown here is a sheet steel roll base. In this application, a lead screw is used to move a support roller with respect to its mating roller. Doing such results in changing the height of the roll of the sheet steel. Again, in an application like this, the rotational speed is small as the height of the roller does not need to be continually adjusted. And again, neither absolute positioning, nor repeatability, nor backlash, nor continuous power transmission are critical in an application like this. As such, the added expense of a ball screw is not justified. Not all lead screw applications need to be large. Shown here is a camera inspection unit. In this case, a slide screw is used to move a camera assembly up and down. A slide screw is simply a smaller, less expensive lead screw than Masumi sells, and as such, are perfect for applications like this. In this application, backlash is not a problem, as gravity is always loading the nut against the thread, and the movement of the entire mechanism is very smooth, resulting in less vibration, which the camera could pick up. That concludes the Masumi Motion Products webinar on lead screws. Be sure to visit masumi.info slash lead screws to explore Masumi selection.